Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steam Gentleman Podcast for Wednesday, January 25th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and joined alongside me, we have all day Eric DeShane. Hello. How you doing today, Eric? Good, good. Good. That's good. Good. Yeah. I, uh... I booked an appointment to get my battery changed in my car because mm-hmm. I haven't done that since it died when it was like super still super haven't cold changed up. that battery. Well, you know, it's been working. <laughs> it has been that cold. So I was like, you know what? I guess. But, yeah. But now, the, now next week is supposed to get real cold. So like, yeah, right, I got to do that before. Uh, before. Yeah, the I would recommend happens. that. Yeah. So I, I booked it in today to get it done because I mean, normally I'd like get my buddy to help it out, but. Mm-hmm. My my car t- tucked in there. It's all like fucking stupid and mm-hmm. shit. So he's like, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> he's like, all right, yeah, so, fair. Uh, so I booked it in, and he's like, yeah, you're booked in tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, January 25th. And I was like, 25th. And I'm yeah, like, man. like, man, that's the. Uh, like, no, I don't want my appointment next week. I want it for tomorrow. He's like, yeah, t- it's the 24th today. I was like. No shit. <laughs> no it shit, is. yeah. Yeah. It's like, where did the month go? It's gone. It's weird, man. It's a month already done in 2023. Goddamn. Right? Mm-hmm. Crazy. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, how was your weekend? Good. Low-key. I didn't do much. I was planning to do stuff, go to the farm for weekend, but a uh, Sunday... But we, it rained here in St. Paul. It was, it was weird. Weird about the weather. Uh, typical, eh? So, like, oh, if it rained overnight and as roads are shitty, I don't want to risk it. So let's stay here instead. But by noon, it was fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. It was a night. It was nice out, though. Like, it was gorgeous, yeah. Was like, I had the windows cracked open. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, nice fresh air. Mm-hmm. No, it was it was beautiful this weekend. I got some stuff done outside and mm-hmm. stuff inside. And, yeah, no, it was just a low-key, low-key weekend. It'd be like a good, good weekend, mm-hmm. good afternoon to like shovel off the patio and have a couple, mm-hmm. couple That's what beers. I did. <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. Shovel everything off and then we're shoveled. It like melted where it's like, like it's springtime almost. I'm like, oh, this is weird for middle of January, but okay, well, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah. yeah. And now we're dealing with a shit ton of ice. Yeah, unfortunately. It's like a skating rink right by mm-hmm. my, my entrance. I'll have to go get some salt. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I'm almost, almost, the, almost snow some it more, twice. Snow some more last few days. I'm debating shoveling it. I'm like, I don't want to. Sho- I don't want to cover the ice. I want to keep something over top of it for now. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When it uh, was it yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. It was. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was kind of like still kind of powdery and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So like took one step on it. And, like didn't <laughs> think that there'd be ice on it, and then just like. Whoosh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, all right. Recover, recover. Take two more steps. <laughs> like, like, fuck off. It's like get me inside and now. No. Uh, fucking winter. Mm-hmm. God damn mm-hmm. it. Gotta love it. Um, we changed our our schedule. Hmm. We are now only doing one episode a week on Wednesdays until. Oh, we have a more. Uh... Set in stone with schedule yeah. with our co-hosts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not 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 just Tyler. Not to put it all no. on him, but like I, I I go to the gym twice a week at, mm-hmm. at like six thirty, so it's kind of and not on, on the nice we record too as well, right? Yeah, so, so it's like, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit of a rush. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of make things a little easier on everybody, and yeah, do that for now. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens, maybe. I said with Tyler, I know. I think he said he's gonna be. He might be back a couple a couple days this week or something. Yeah. Like that. I said basically we, what we worked out with with Tyler is that if there's a day or something that like or a night that he's kind of got hotel Wi-Fi and he's kind of mm-hmm. free enough and not not tired enough, and he you know it, be it a a Sunday or a or a Thursday or something like that, we'll we'll hop on and then we'll just bank the episode for. Mm-hmm. Next yeah. Wednesday, try and get him in as much as possible. Use what we can, yeah, man. He's still part of this, so get him in on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's where the podcast is at. But State of the Union address. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you watched a new show. Yeah, a show I've been looking forward to for a while. Uh, mm-hmm. New season came out for it. Legend of Vox Monkey Nuts, season two. Based on the Critical Role campaign one, 
uh, awesome first season and second season off to an awesome start as well. So it's first three episodes, really, came out, right? first three episodes. Yeah, I, I love this format that they have where it's three episodes a week for four weeks. So a month of every Friday going in and just checking out three episodes instead of just trickling in one episode a week and drawing it out. It's like mm-hmm. we don't live in those times anymore. Just throw, throw them all out there, right? So yeah. At least this is enough where it's like, yeah, it's, it's an hour and a half of of content right away. It's like, oh, perfect. That's enough to watch in a night and still get everything in and rewatch it again if you need to. And yeah, it's, it's good. Amazon's really weird, like, with their releases. Like, some stuff, yeah, it'll be like mm-hmm. the, the, you know, first two episodes come out or like the first three episodes are out. Mm-hmm. And then and it's one week after that. Vox Machina's three every week uh-huh. some it's just once a week some where they like oh dump the whole season at the, uh-huh. uh, at the beginning it's like well it's like stick to one thing man stick to one <laughs> thing you guys god damn it yeah so but but yeah. no i i like it i'm enjoying it as always and i know what happens so a lot of it is a spoilers it's just more of like okay how are they gonna tell this part how are they gonna mm. tell that part and it's still still great yeah. See the animation and all. Yeah, all the, and stuff. the animation style I love, and yeah, it's, it's, it's not afraid to to hold back on certain things. It's, it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm excited to get started on that. I might, I might wait mm-hmm. till. But I would recommend if you if you're not like a headstrong like me, you just want to watch it all. Just we can wait till it's all over. Is it a month? And it's all yeah. done by then, and yeah. it all then. Or I just might wait yeah. till. I think I was thinking maybe wait till Friday, then mm-hmm. like because like always. Watch. Like always with those last few, that, that third episode has a big cliffhanger at the end. Yeah. It's like, ah, it's like, ah, ah it's, <laughs> hey, hey, waiting, but they got to give you a hook somehow, right? So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Certain things, they are kind of flying past, which I'm a little upset by, but uh, we'll see where, they only have 12, 12 episodes, right? So you have a lot to tell, so we'll see. Does like the, yeah. the regular critical role, does it have like certain kind of... I guess I guess it's more like just like arcs, I guess, in there. Yeah, in it's arcs. Thing. Yeah, this is this. There's three major arcs in this first campaign, so I think this is the, right now we're on the second arc, mm-hmm. and it makes sense with that. But um, the the second one's a lot longer. Mm-hmm. But they're where they're at with the first three episodes. They're already pretty far in, from what I feel. So it's no, like oh, really. while they're they're flying by it. So I'm not sure if they're gonna go all of the second arc and start the third a bit and then go more to the third season with that. Mm. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to, if they're just going to do the three campaign, the three arcs of the campaign and then be done with it or do some more afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. So, mm. Hoping they maybe pick up campaign two instead as a new, new series instead or do three even three, but I don't have to imagine they probably will. I think, I think, I the show so. pretty, I, think I think with the, the acclaim has been getting and, how this first season's taken off, they might just pick up the campaign too and and show that one too. Because that one is very that one yeah. is also very thematic as well too to watch. So and uh, at that point they were more a lot more like involved with, with knowing what to do to make it more that much more entertaining. So right. to put those scenes into uh, on film and television would be really good. So yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah I can imagine. I'd I'd imagine. I don't think I don't think the show's. Well, I think it's pretty popular. I'm pretty sure. So. Mm-hmm. No, it's just right now it's at 100 percent Rotten Tomatoes and awesome reviews and yeah. There you go. The voiceover work. I mean, that's what happens when the whole crew is voice actors, right? The yeah. sounds <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Animation's sure. great. Yeah. So they must re-record their audio though. It's not yes. right, not right from the. No, no, yeah. nothing is like it's all like rewritten, like screen written, and then set over Just again. Just adapted, kind of. Yeah, it, it's t- adapted from the the arcs in the campaign. Yeah, because because right now the, the f- episode three, like the one that they ended on, that was like a f- two or three. I'll say it was a three episode campaign, like three three four hour campaign episodes back then, right? But they did it all in a half hour. So they're condensing like a lot of that information and waste of time just into a more coherent story, right? So mm. if they pulled directly from like what was said and what was done, it'd be a lot, a lot longer and a lot harder to to fulfill, right? So yeah, yeah, true. yeah, very true. 
Uh, unfortunately, I haven't watched the new episode of The Last of Us yet. I don't know. I've seen clips, but it's all been about not the story, but about because this this one highlights a lot of the film locations in Edmonton. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's they... like, oh yeah, this was this part, this was that part, and here's the Capitol building. It's like, oh, I this is right on Jasper Rap. I used to live like on that block. I know exactly where this is at. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I totally so... wasn't aware. Like like I never mm-hmm. read an article from CBC. It's like. Here's all the the Alberta places they filmed. Like a lot of it mm-hmm. was like yeah, some some in Calgary, Edmonton. Mm-hmm. They did. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did a lot of the, from what I understood. Canmore. A lot of the interior interior uh, city escapes was like in Edmonton, whereas the outside, like the skylines shots, that was all Calgary. Mm-hmm. So like the one scene I watched, they're going back and forth when they're walking. It's Edmonton and Calgary, then back to Edmonton for a bit, and then it's interior. In the studio and then back outside, it's like oh, it's it's cool to see that. But mm-hmm. yeah, but, and I think I think the uh, they did some stuff in Canmore and mm-hmm. High River and stuff like that because mm-hmm. some some of it takes place in um in the rural area, Wyoming yeah, which is stuff. yeah. So yeah, that's kind of their their stand in for that, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool. Which is awesome. Yeah, more more Emmeth and stuff, more Alberta stuff is always good. Right? To see. Yeah, especially on a huge show like this, it's like oh hell yeah! Like I remember when uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. Did one of their seasons in like the climax of season one's fight was in like downtown Edmonton. <laughs> it's like it's like that is awesome. Like there's like shot for shot scenes of downtown. You see like the the hero fight and like the the one the one villain is like oh I, that was my building they crashed into. That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It, yeah, like that. Some when they just threw this through the, the weapon into. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like well, I always love seeing more of that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, <laughs> it always reminds me of like, uh, is it the Edmonton Journal or Edmonton Sun or something like that? Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, if there was a celebrity or something like that, oh, they yeah. like, they'd always have to be like, and uh, did you know that this person spent one month in Edmonton? <laughs> it's like, they like always have to bring it up. They, like, they really <laughs> milk it. It's like, okay, like, calm down. It's like, like, nobody cares. <laughs> no, uh, that's too much, man. Like, yeah. Dial it back a little bit. This person's <laughs> an Edmontonian. It's like, no, they're not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I quit. We're so starved for attention. Yeah, that's the only thing with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm excited to watch. I think I'll probably watch that tonight. I should watch that mm-hmm. tonight. And from what I've seen, from what they change, a lot of the... A lot of fan, uh, like what they're saying is is really good. It's really well mm. done. Like no, like, I've hardly heard like a, a more more like nitpick like issues, but like overall, like the fan the fan cry has been amazing for the show. And yeah, like from what I've watched and what I've seen, it's it's pretty well. It's very well done. It's great. Mm-hmm. It's doing numbers too. I think like, mm-hmm. the second episode like had over five million people watching it or something like that so far. So I believe I believe it. Yeah, so. it's cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? There's Oscar nominations came out today. Oh, really? Shit, yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick got uh, nominated for Best Picture. Really? That's uh-huh. for sure. It'd be Best Visual Effects, but uh... mm-hmm. Best Bit. I think I think it got the nod kind of to like, like, hey, thank you for saving movie theaters. <laughs> yeah, I thing, guess. Yeah. Basically, so we'll we'll put you yeah. in. And uh, I just want to see it on. Uh, it's all these websites. I don't want to go to. But... Everything yeah, awesome. everywhere all at once has like I think mm-hmm. eleven nominations. They got they got the most nominations this year. I be- that's going to be a powerhouse this year for sure. Uh, that's I still gonna watch it, but I f- I can't get over how like the trailer and the marketing made it look like okay, what the fuck is this? I don't really want to watch is, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but everyone's like, no, it's awesome. It's like really like I did not think that from what I saw. This looked like another A twenty four artsy picture. All right, whatever. So yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's like an indescribable movie, <laughs> mm-hmm. almost. It's just like you just have to see it to to understand it. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, it's got a bit of everything. Ooh, yeah, we got to because Wednesday Oscars is in April, right? Uh, yeah, March, April around there, I think. Yeah, yeah I th- we definitely got to do some nominations because actually these are a few of them were actually I know a lot of the movies are what I've watched a few of these movies here with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
the ones. Pinocchio animated film. That one, I think, might win that one if I were to guess. Right? I think that's got to win. Yeah. yeah, but Puss in Boots, man, that's that animation is pretty top notch too. Yeah. Cinematography, costume design, directing. Who's got the best director here? Banshees of. Oh, I can't remember. I can't pronounce that. I'm sure. Ishirin, I think. Ishirin, yeah. That's another one too where I didn't even like knew it. It came out, and that's another one movie where everyone's talking about how awesome it is. Mm-hmm. But it looks like it looks very real, and I'm like, I don't want to be depressed. <laughs> Cameron actually uh, messaged the our page. Oh yeah, and he let us know that it's actually on uh, Disney Plus for streaming. It is, yeah. I saw it there. I was watching. Uh, what was I? I think it's put on Star Wars or something. I was cleaning up on the weekend, and I saw it on there too. I'm like, oh, I should watch that. But it's that's a sit down and watch movie, not in the background kind of movie. So I'm like, I'll oh, maybe later on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to watch that this weekend, mm-hmm. but I ended up spending most of my weekend uh, just watching. Um, it was kind of, you know, kind of funny, the, the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. It, was their, it was their anniversary, so they did like a subathon thing, so I just I was watching the VOD of that. It was like 14 hours long. <laughs> so, Jesus! But just, yeah. Like, yeah, just kept watching that for the most part. That was fun. Mm-hmm. I was playing uh, more... Yu-Gi-Oh on my cup. That's yeah, so my pop-up hit coming up for Scott's playing Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy Duelist. I'm like, I should join him, but like, yeah, playing Destiny. Okay, I got a, I got a nitpick about fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, man. This game. Oh yeah, hey. so Play it on me. so you know they have all, all the, the the different shows broken out in the campaigns. So I'm like, yep, whatever. I'm only interested in playing the first one. Maybe I might dip my toes into GX or something. I don't know. Yeah, but the first one, that's what I'm gonna play. And I played through the campaign. And the campaign, it's like, okay, you can use the story deck or like the user deck. And usually the story deck is kind of like this weird, like it's not really like if you're playing Yugi, you're not using Yugi's deck. It's like, it's like like for the for instance, the first. The first one versus Yugi versus Kaiba. It's like the story yeah. deck is like it's just loaded with a bunch of like Exodia cards and like yeah. and like pot of greeds and like other stuff to like because it wants so to get it, you to it's, win it's, by it's using Exodia. It's a meta deck of a, th- a meta theme deck, Kinda, pretty much, yeah. right? It's yeah. Like, so it's not like actual in the show where it's just a bunch of normal monsters and then Exodia. Yeah. And I hope you get lucky, right? So yeah. okay, yeah. So it's still the meta version of yeah. Yeah. So like I like see. like all right, whatever. And then, uh, so you'd play through the whole thing, and then there's reverse duels, which is basically like, okay, now you play Kaiba in this thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, for, for all the reverse duels, I did, like, the user deck, I, which is kind of like a basic structure deck that I was kind of playing around with. Uh-huh. And then, but once you beat all those guys, it unlocks uh, duelist challenges. So you go, to, like, to actually face them, and then, like, going on, they have, like, legit, like, good decks. But it's not, like... Era era correct. So like I went to play fucking Bandit Keith, and he's fucking doing pendulum summons and synchro summons and whoa, stuff like whoa, that. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 like, whoa. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's horseshit. Yeah, Keith was not. He's a cheater. Yeah. Yes, but he still played within you know the proper fucking like, fucking <laughs> time. Konami. Just let me let me be a child again. All right, let me fucking play with the old shit. Like if if he was playing uh, a uh, mach- uh, what's it called slot machine deck where he was yeah. obviously cheating and made it thematical that way that'd have been cool. It's like oh yeah, so he obviously is fucking cheating. So yeah. I, how are you going to beat him? I'm like well yeah, do what you can, right? So but no, is it, is they're going to make it be lazy like that. Then no, oh, yeah. Man. And of course I'm playing yeah. with like you know like I, I changed the the structure deck up a little bit. I'm like okay, got some decent cards and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But it's like. I don't have no fucking crazy special summon sh- shit, so I'm like, mm-hmm. of course he just fucking blows me away. So I was like, all right, well, I I, I beat a <laughs> bunch of the ones that were kind of like weak and didn't have all that stuff, but now there's just the ones that have all the fucking screwy Louis decks and stuff. So that yeah, like, all right, that I think I'm like, done now. <laughs> okay, I don't want to. I don't take a trig classes and know how to play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. Let's just keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's like. It's like, should I put this card in my deck? And I'm just like, start reading it. It's like, I got like a full paragraph. And I just get tired of reading the card that I'm just like, nah. Let's get Wait, so what do like, I do? It's like, I don't, I don't do yeah, what it does. After yeah, after we read it then five you times. You take like a, a course on how to fucking use it so you can do it properly, even though you don't want to use it. It's like, ah, uh, yeah. It's no. like, Yu Gi Oh! Like, would be like so much better. At least like the cards would be more understandable if it like took the magic effect where it's like, 
mm-hmm. you know, it has like, uh, you know, how they say like vigilance or whatever. And that means like it doesn't tap when it attacks. It just, but it just says vigilance. It doesn't fucking explain what vigilance is. Yeah. So like Yu Gi Oh would like be good because it's like so many cards are like cannot be normal summon or blah, blah, blah. And it's like has like this big long thing. It's like just say. Make up a word that means this definition yes. or something like that. Like uh, magic has magic's great for that. It has like haste, trample, mm-hmm. or like uh, I forget, I tell, can't think, but like we, you can look and how that. Oh, haste means it goes. It plays a turn to summoned, or mm-hmm. trample means it, it attacks. It's like oh, perfect. Like we know what that word means, mm-hmm. so we can just play it and do that. No, instead we have these freaking paragraphs. And, yeah. yeah, it's. It's that archaic design still stuck in the past, but trying to be modern. It's a common, a common gripe with Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn. But I, mm-hmm. okay. yeah. I think I think it's the last time we'll talk about Yu-Gi-Oh on the podcast. Nah, for now, until we get those booster packs, <laughs> to open them all up. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I can talk about it all day, though. I love that shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to go home because next time I'm at my parents' house, I remember. I remember this. I totally forgot that I did it. Like back when I was trying to do a YouTube channel, like out of when I like quit college back in like mm-hmm. 2010, 2011 ish. Yeah. I ended up buying, I think it was, uh, what is it? What's it called? The Labyrinth one. The uh, booster pack. I forgot what it's called. I forget. For, I forget Labyrinth what it's booster pack. Like the one uh, with, was it the one with that one card that was like super. OP in the story, like that fucking like, like a picture that green diamond with the circle. Oh, I can't think of it now. Or is it the the booster pack series? Uh, like the labyrinth of destruction booster pack series. Or? I think that's what it was. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so hard to type. Labyrinth of nightmare. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I bought yeah. I bought a booster booster box of that, and I opened it for my YouTube channel, and it actually did mm. a decent amount of views. But I think they're just sitting on my like shelf somewhere. I'm yeah, like, collecting dust. I'm like, oh shit, there's probably. Oh some... yeah, shit. That's those are old ones too. Damn. Yeah. So like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably some decent, like rare, mm-hmm. expensive cards in there. Hmm. Yeah. So. Cool. That's yeah. Cool. Um. I also started playing um because I was like I want to play some more games. I've done what did I? <laughs> I downloaded uh Sniper Ghost Warrior three because mm-hmm. it was like on sale for like I don't know three dollars or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I played like the first like tutorial mission. I'm like, eh, this ain't that good. <laughs> it's the reason why it's three dollars. <laughs> yeah. So I uninstalled that, and then I was like, well, I want to play something. And then um, I saw that there was the demo for Dragon Quest Eleven on Steam, oh. so I was like, download the demo. Like, yeah, it's pretty pretty fun actually. So I'm like, hmm. hmm. Depending, I don't I don't know how long much longer a demo is, and finish it yet. But hmm. I'm like, well, maybe it might buy the full game after that's done because little neat RPG, I guess. Cool. Yeah, I've been itching for that. I keep watching like Skyrim lore videos. I'm like, I should go back and play in Skyrim, but I don't know what the fuck I did with my Nexus launcher or my mods. It won't fucking load for shit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn it. All right, well, I guess I should undelete bl- everything and redo it all if I can remember how to do it. But, <laughs> oh, well, what else can I play besides that? I'm like, oh, I really want like a. And a buddy of mine at work plays Elder Scrolls online. I'm mm. like, oh, maybe I'll give that a shot. So I started watching like some beginner videos. I'm like, oh, I, this is too fucking much. Like, what is all this bullshit with it? It's like, it's like Final Fantasy 14 complicated. No, mm. thank you. I'll avoid that now. Yeah, it's just uh, was way overbearing for what I wanted just to learn. And yeah, it's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember I tried that out. I think I bought it on PC and I played it for I, I like it an hour and too, then I returned it, it or something. Yeah, like I thought that. it was free, but no, it's 25 bucks. I'm going to pay 25 bucks. Yeah. It's pretty fucking free, yeah. And I was like, At least the base game of it, yeah. Yeah, and like playing like the beginning part, it's like, it's kind of like Elder Scrolls, like, like, but it's like, there's like, the feeling's off. You know, yeah. something, something about it's just off. Where and that's like, what I got the impression too. I'm like, I'm looking at the UI when they're playing it. I was like, this is, this is too much World, like Warcraft and Final, like mm-hmm. no, I don't like that look. I don't like that feel. No. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I was I was watching uh, like kind of funny again, but uh, uh, there's a mod on Nexus mod that basically mm-hmm. makes a uh, Elden Ring co-op. Oh shit! Like, really? It's, a, it's called like because like you can summon people and stuff like that. Yeah. But the mod essentially makes it called like it's like called I think it's called like seamless co-op mod or something like that, mm-hmm. where it's instead of like it doesn't kick you out and if you die or something like that. Oh yeah, I, I think thing. in boss rooms you can't have summons. Something like yeah, that. In, so it yeah. just kind of makes like you can summon the, summon the people to your game once or whatever, and then mm-hmm. they're they're there. And then uh, I was watching the guys play. They're playing three of them. We're playing, and I'm like, it'd be a lot of. Pretty fun That'd be better. Play. That's a game I definitely want to play. I I always wanted to since it came out, but just the, just the intimidation of it. It's like I don't <laughs> yeah. know if I'll be throwing my keyboard across the room ten minutes in, or will I enjoy it? But yeah. I think it'd be a game if we try to get it. Might be fun, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was another reason I was like, ah, too bad Tyler's around because we could probably mm-hmm. probably convince you guys to play it. But mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, looks yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Uh well, anything else before we get out of here? No, not really. Um, no, prepping for the cold snap coming this weekend. So yeah, you know, shoveling while before all's nice. It's wet as hell though. It's melting underneath. So it's like ah, I gotta do that before I guess cold and yeah. No, just I'm ready to call and <laughs> be over with January because it's time next. This time next week will be a month done with mm-hmm. January already. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too bad. Well, it's time flying by. Yeah. One one uh, cl- step closer to winter being done. Mm-hmm. So. Radio. Well, mm-hmm. thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. And if you're listening on a podcast service, leave us rating, subscribe as well. Uh, head over to our Facebook page. You can leave us a question. Uh, you can leave us topic ideas too, if you like. Um, and uh, I don't really know what's happening with Movie Club. We'll kind of figure that out. We'll probably yeah, we'll... do do one of those still. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Just gotta figure out what mm-hmm. we want to watch and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I guess that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you next week on Wednesday. Adios. Goodbye. See us.